Wow. Whoa. Hop suit. Hey Nauts, welcome back to another episode of Beer Cosmonautica and today the fifth video will be the first instalment of a new inter-series in Beer Cosmonautica called Hop Seat. Every hop seat I'll be taking one single hop and spending two or three minutes talking about the flavour profiles and the use notes for that particular hop. Sometimes obviously I'll try and um, get a beer or two beers that use that hop um, just as a single variety sort of showcase beer but in other instances um, maybe I won't be able to do that or I will uh, do what I've done today which is uh, make some mini infusions and see what notes we can get from that. So the hop in the hop seat today is Admiral. Uh, it's a British hop with not so much press but uh, it does stand out from many other British hops as it can really pack a punch. Some Admiral only brews do exist, um, but I wasn't able to get any for this uh, for this particular video, so hence the hop infusions. Um, but having given these a smell, I think maybe this will be a good idea to do in sort of future instalments because they do they do seem to encapsulate the particular characteristics for that hop quite well. It's probably worth noting that. Um, the amount of hops that I used in each of these infusions, the ratio of hops to water is probably a lot higher than it would be in a brew. Uh, next time I think I will measure them out. Um, but basically I used a reasonable amount of hops um, in quite a small amount of water for both, in, for both infusions. So uh, we are definitely going to get quite a strong sense of the hop characteristic. Just a little bit of background on Admiral. It was released in 1996 by um, Horticulture Research International at Y College in the UK, which is a common birthplace for a lot of hops. Um, and it was derived from North Down and Challenger. Um, so it's relatively new, um, but North Down and Challenger are usually cited as the only good substitutes for it, though personally I don't find either of them really get there. North Down a bit more so because it's a bit more sort of spicy which is what I associate more with this whereas Challenger is a bit softer and much more easy going but um, they're the only, they're, you know, they're, they're the closest it's generally thought that you can, you can get in the absence of uh, Admiral. So with a fairly high alpha acid content normally between 13 and 16 percent the bitterness is pretty assertive and um, yeah, when I was boiling these, uh, well, when I was boiling this one, um, the aromas coming off were kind of like woody spice, um, kind of sandalwood, but without the intense kind of aromatics that sandalwood has. Uh, it was quite floral, almost even honey-like, a bit like elderflower, and sort of lemony too. Um, so uh, yeah, the, the citrus aspect is normally said to be more orangey than lemony, um, but when I was boiling it, it it's not quite lemony. So let's have a quick taste of the infusions. I'll start with the lighter one. So just Admiral steeped for about 25 minutes, I suppose it was. Got kind of. Hmm. Getting a little bit of spice. I am getting some of the elderflower kind of floral, basically, sort of floral quality. A bit like a jasmine green tea or a jasmine white tea, which isn't definitely isn't in the tasting notes. And there's a there's a lemoniness. There is a citrusiness, but it's definitely more lemony than orangey on the aroma on this. Ooh. Just for steeping for 20 minutes, there's quite a bit of bitterness come out of that. It is a high alpha hop. Mmm. Slight peppery kind of 
peppery sort of spice flavour. Again, light floral, sort of jasmine-like floral qualities. Nice, I think this kind of profile would go really well in a in a light beer, but a lot of bitterness has come out just from that steeping, so beware of that. And now the um, boiled for eight minutes. Ah. Much more sort of dank aromas on this one, a little bit flannelly. But past that, a very rich honey sense of sort of sweetness and a, a very pungent spice. Oh wow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. The bitterness is incredible on that. I must have put way too many hops in this small amount of liquid. I've got a really spicy, woody, kind of a woody spice kind of flavour. And that sandalwood that I mentioned from the aromas, that's really coming through in the flavour actually. Um, and I think that kind of that flavour aspect uh, is why it works so well in darker beers as well as lighter beers. So here, where we've used it a lot more sparingly, it's um, giving much more light floral sort of notes. Which would work a lot better in a lighter beer. Whereas here, where it's been boiled for a while, um, though it wasn't very long, uh, these really kind of like much more deep sort of woody, deep spice notes have sort of come out and this is quite interesting actually because I think um, I actually wouldn't have thought of Admiral as being a steeping hop really um, but uh, if this is anything to go by it could really lend some really nice flavours steeping um, some really nice florally almost jasmine like flavours uh, but if you want to spice up a a dark beer or a red beer, then um, definitely consider Admiral as perhaps not even a bittering hop, but sort of like a 10 minute hop. Really, really gives a sense of texture and, and spice. Well, I hope this helps you decide whether You'll use Admiral in your next brew or plan it into one of your upcoming brews. Please like and subscribe and any suggestions for beers to review, hops to put in the hop seat, um, let me know in the comments below. Just growing the channel at the moment so any engagement is good engagement. Hope you find it useful and stay tuned. There's um, a lot more coming up as well as reviews of beers and hops in the hop seat. Cheers!